Next, let us understand the statement of cash flows in greater detail. So, what is a cash flow statement? You start with a certain balance of cash at the beginning of the year. On January 1st, if suppose you have $10,000, at the end of the year, on 31st December, maybe you have $14,000. How did this $10,000 become $14,000? You started with $10,000, it became $14,000. It is not necessary that it will increase. It is possible that you start with $10,000, and you end with $8,000, whatever. The cash at the end of the year is likely to be different from the cash which is at the beginning of the year because during the year you are having a lot of cash movements. What are the reasons? What caused these changes? That is what is reflected in the cash flow statement. <clears throat> Basically, what do you have? Cash flows may be inflows, right? Or they may be Outflows. When does cash come in? Capital contribution, cash will come in. You take a loan, cash will come in. You sell your furniture, something old, sell assets, old assets if you sell it. You make a profit, right? You buy goods, mind you, when I say sell assets, we are talking about non-current assets. Net profit is what? Say you've purchased stationery and you sell stationery. That is what Sachin was doing. Do you remember? So what happens? Because of that, he made profit. So profits, if you make, normally they would increase your cash balance, provided, of course, those transactions were in cash. Similarly, what would be your outflows of cash? You withdraw capital, capital withdrawn. Can I say capital contribution there? Capital withdrawn here, capital withdrawn. Loan repaid. You buy assets instead of selling. You buy assets. You pay dividend. So cash goes off because you pay dividend. You make a net loss. You make a net loss. These are the reasons for outflows. These are for inflows. What we do now, we don't mix up all these together. Instead, we divide this into three kinds of activities. What are they called? One is called, remember? Yes, financing activity or it may be called investing activity or net profit, net loss. What is this called? Operating activities. So, cash flow statement is nothing but a statement which tells us the reasons for the change of cash, opening cash. What is the, what cost the change in the cash balance from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, from the beginning of a period to the end of a period. <clears throat> Let us just look at the format of a cash flow statement. Statement of cash flows is for a period, maybe year ended, maybe six months ended, maybe quarter ended, maybe month ended. It is for a period. <clears throat> then net cash in operating activities provided by or used in. That means what? If the cash flows from operating activity is negative, then we say used in. If we there are positive flows, the inflows were greater, then we call it net cash provided by operating activities. Similarly, provided by investing activities or used in investing activities, provided by or used in financing activities. So, the cash flows are split into three kinds of activities. Under each head, we will write the details. Each head, we will write the details. <clears throat> and what you get, some total of these will give you either increase or a decrease in the cash and cash equivalence during the year. Equivalence. We will just come to this in a moment. For now, you just understand maybe cash in hand and cash at bank is what we are talking about. So, what is the net increase or decrease? What was the cash at the beginning of the year? The summation of the two should give us the cash or cash equivalence at the end of the year. <coughs> okay. Now, <coughs> if you look at the balance sheet, like we said, what is the cash flow statement? Opening balance sheet, you have a cash balance. Closing balance sheet, you have another cash balance. What is the reason for this difference? What happened? What are the changes in the balance sheet which caused this change in cash balance? <clears throat> 
let us look at this now what have we split it you you have more or less more or less aware of the skeletal form of a balance sheet you have on the asset side you have current assets and non current assets here you have current liabilities long term liabilities non current liabilities and you have equity you are familiar with this <coughs> now long term liabilities and equity this actually are financing activities means what when capital is brought in it is a financing activity if he withdraws capital it is a financing activity how do you get funds you get funds for the business how do you get financing for the business money for the business the part, the, the, the 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 owner the proprietor the owners will bring in money that is equity capital contribution capital contribution or you take a loan or you take a loan so this actually this portion of the balance sheet will actually represent financing activities financing activities <clears throat> how does when does cash come in when there is a capital contribution when loan is taken in right and the same thing when 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 is there a cash outflow cash outflow if there is a capital withdrawal or there is a repayment of loan Yes or no? So this is financing activity. What else do you have next? Next, if you notice, sale of asset. If you sell furniture, machinery has become old. Now you dispose it off. Maybe a scrap. You get little money, but you get some money. That sale of asset will be an inflow of cash. So this were actually financing activities. Then I am saying. sale of asset this is what asset fixed asset non current asset will give you cash but if you buy an asset buy asset you buy a computer you buy machinery you buy furniture you buy you make fittings you whatever you buy with what you will get benefit over a longer period of time that those are all would be reflected under non current assets and this purchase if there is an outflow of cash would be called an investing activity so this is financing and this would be investing activity so this is taken care of these are investing activities now you are left with current assets and current liabilities why do current why do you have current assets and current liabilities how do current assets and current liabilities appear in the business what do they mean current assets are assets which are expected to be converted into cash within a short period of time and current liabilities are <coughs> what are current liabilities current liabilities are liabilities obligations debts which we must pay within less than a Here, <clears throat> right? These, how do you get current asset? When you make a sale on credit, you have a debtor. When you purchase goods in order to sell, you have inventory, right? Those are current assets. When you purchase and it is on credit, you have a current liability. There is a supplier to whom you owe money. So, current assets and current liabilities occur in the day-to-day. day to day activities of the business and these are called operating activities operating activities net profit net loss so largely if you see the balance sheet the liability long term liability portion makes up for the financing activities the changes in the long term assets makes up for the investing activities and the current assets and current liabilities are all reflected under operating activities <clears throat> now what are cash and cash equivalents you already know it includes cash includes balance at bank at the different bank and different bank accounts that the business might have and it includes short term investments what do you mean by short term investments investments which have a maturity within 3 months of issue Three months of issue. Treasury bills are sometimes issued by the government. Government, and they say that these have to be these treasury bills will be repaid in a in two months time. So these such instruments are short. Mind you, it's three months of issue. Not that within the next three months of the date of closing of the business. they will mature that's not the point that that particular investment must be such that it matures within a period of 3 months that is a short term investment commercial paper treasury bills etc 
and when they are converted to cash there is a negligible loss in value on conversion conversion it is not going to be some kind of a distress sale it would be uh, there is hardly any loss in value on conversion of these in instruments so these these are your cash equivalents this is cash in hand cash at bank and these are the other cash equivalents there is a small confusion what do we do about an overdraft balance an overdraft balance is considered as a cash equivalent only under ifrs and not in gap and not in gap under gap this would be taken overdraft would be taken as a financing activity 